Here we go. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> Hey guys, welcome to the Crafter After Show. It's May May and oh, Vinny's here. My tr- I was gonna see if you were gonna do that, but you didn't. My trusty sidekick. Oh, why Vinny. would I do be my own announcer? Well, because I said the intro wrong. You're supposed to say, <laughs> "And my trusty sidekick." If you're a trusty sidekick, when I mess up, you correct it. Oh, oh, man, that's how that works, dude. <laughs> Who's that, that sound like, to- dude? Okay. Here is the deal. Here's our card. I'm going to set it off to the side so I don't put my hand in it because I will totally stick my hand in this card. Um, it's still drying right here. But if you'd like to see how this card was made, head to um, the video that was right before this one. It'll show you how that one was made. Set that over there. Let me show you some across the mile stuff. Um, dun, 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 dun. I have here a card. This card says thank you thanks thanks thank you thanks thanks thank you and it says hi may may i've never written to a celebrity before well you still haven't <laughs> uh but had to let you know how much i enjoy your channel this is my first card using your technique for making your own background paper yay now i see all my stamp sets in a new way i can't wait to play with other others to create more of my own paper I am learning so much from you. Blessings, your friend, Beth. Thank you, Beth. Look at her card. She did so good. I didn't even realize she'd made her own background paper. That looks awesome. See, that's the point. Hmm. You don't even realize it till you till somebody points it out because it's so professional. Great job. I love it. That's awesome. I'm glad you're crafting. Now, I have to tell you something before I show you this. You're going to ask me for a tutorial. You're going to ask me, aren't they? They are. I'm going to bring you, I'm looking up here like the camera's up here, the camera's over here. I'm such a professional here. I'm going to bring you a tutorial, but it won't be until Christmas in July because I like to focus on some gifts in Christmas in July, which is only a little bit away. So I'm going to show you this then, but first I'll show you this. So this is from my friend Cass. Do you remember me telling y'all, we were talking last week and I talked about Cass being here for some reason, or maybe Mm -hmm. a video, it was a video I was filming. Anyway, this is from our friend Cass that came to visit last week, her and her daddy, they were adorable by the way. They travel. Was it last week or was it early this week? It was early this week. I'm just, I'm gone. Okay, so listen to this. They travel and they do like, oh, that's what it was. I said it in a video, but I've been pre filming so many videos. I don't know if you've seen it yet or not. But um, they talked about that they go, they travel and they like to stop at roadside oddities. Remember? And I said, well, you picked a good one today because we're a definite roadside oddity. There's a definitely a um, house full of roadside oddities. But they oddities were so cute. Shop. And this is the gift she brought me. Look at this. It says, Achoo. I need to zoom out a little bit. It's a, a mason jar. Here we go. It says, Achoo. She painted it. See that? And this is a sticker she stuck on it. And then look right here. Oh, I pulled that out because we were looking at how to do it. Now, she knows that I'm going to do it. We talked. (laughs) So she's given me permission to recreate this. But look, the tissues pull out the top. See that? I don't want to pull any more tissues out because that's waste time. But look at that. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to show you guys how to make this. Um, as a as a gift for folks, it's a great Christmas gift. It's very cool, and there's lots of different ways to decorate these guys. So you'll see this video coming up really, really soon in July. But let me show you what else she gave me. She gave me this. Speaking of pets, look, all you need is love and a Dotson. Isn't that cute? Or a Dash Hound, or a Dachshund. <laughs> Ever how you say it? Oh, I threw stuff around. So that is that's my, all my across the miles this week. It's been a quiet week. I think it's because we've been traveling so much. Quiet week. But now I need to show you. Hey girls, are these my sa- are these my testers? Because I hey really want to squirt girls. these out. Are these my testers? I guess they're mine. They always tell me if they're back there. Oh no, I have something else to show you. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Do you see this? I'm so excited about this. I'm so glad I glanced over there. My friend Melody, is she still here? She is. Okay. This is the coolest thing. Let me get this where I can see. Okay. So, Melody has started something. Okay, so first off, I am a Patreon supporter of Melody. Um, you you can support Melody on Patreon in all different ways. She has like a dollar up to, I don't even know how many pledges that you can um, do for Melody. And what Melody does is she brings you so much knowledge where Cricut is concerned. Just so much in paper crafting, in vinyl, in now in the new infusible ink. Like, she brings you so much knowledge. And when you make a $15 or more pledge to her a month, you get a laundry list of goodies, okay? You get so much that you can use for your crafting, especially with your digital crafting. But you also get this card. Now, here's the thing. I haven't taken mine off the card. Here's why. 
So this is an enamel pen. I have to show y'all this. This is Melody in enamel pen form. Look at this. How stinking cute is this? I'm going to get it real close. There, look how cute. I love this pen. So that is Mel. By the way, you are rocking that blue eyeshadow, girl. You are rocking it. Um, this is so cute. So the pen is on her face right there. Oh, by the way, I got Melody Lane signature. Speaking mm -hmm. of celebrities. That's a celebrity now, for real. <laughs> for real. Okay. And look, this is also Mel's signature. I remember, you want to hear something cool? This is how long we've been friends. I remember when she designed this logo. Is a, do you have to drive a Tesla to be a celebrity? Yes. That's why I'm not a celebrity. I don't have a Tesla. Buy me one. Okay. I remember no. when Melody created this logo and she even did a video showing you how to cut your own signature out. And this logo was part of that. How That's how much of a Melody nerd I am. Okay. So this one is also an enamel pen, but here's the best part. When you become a 15, I'm doing this off the cuff. So Mel, if I say anything wrong, correct me. Okay. Um, as a $15 a month Patreon supporter for Mel, later in the year, you're going to get the thank you enamel pen, the busy creating enamel pen, and the attitude of gratitude enamel pen. Let me read this to you. It says, thank you for being a part of my community. You inspire me to stay busy creating. Melody Lane loves sharing projects with you. Because of you, I have an, I have an attitude of gratitude. Melody Lane. Now, of course, this says I. It's not Melody Lane. I love, That's but I'm not cool. Melody Lane. I love this card. I want to save it right where I'm looking at it. I want it to always be looking at me so I can add my next one and add my next one and add my next one. And I'm in love with it. Okay, Melody, please I mean, put a link to your how Patreon. How thoughtful it is of Mel to do that. I mean, to me, that's just super cool right there. Because she, it reminds her every day when she looks at it that the reason we do this is everybody that's watching. You and I both know. we Melanie's very much like that, like we are yep. about that. But I want to tell you something. She didn't have to do this because she already has people that are $15 Patreon supporters. That's not the point. The point is she wanted to give them something extra. And um, I know, I know, no, no, how much it costs to have this stuff done, to p mail it out, postage, all that stuff. I just think it's awesome. So there's her link. She's patreon.com forward slash Melody Lane. Go support Mel. She's my hero. Even if you don't um, do a $15 pledge, even if you don't do this, she's got a dollar a month pledge. You will not believe what you get. And it's all written. If you've never been to Patreon before, it's all written out really clear for you. Like if you give a dollar a month, you get this. If you give this much a month. And I think you can even do, Melody, correct me if I'm wrong. I think they can do um, custom pledge amounts. Can they? I can't remember. So... I can't remember. I don't have um, these kinds of pins right now. We're working on one that's very, very special for, should I say it? I don't care. Let me say it like this. Remember I told you if you come to Craft Acropolis, there's going to be something a little extra special. That's where we're going. Okay. In your $139 ticket, there's something a little extra special in there. So this um, is really, really cute. And I'm so glad I got it. And I put it right here so I could show it today. Yay. Okay. Yes, you can do a custom pledge. So if, a, I mean, look, if you want to give her 500 a month, we totally understand that. <laughs> I, I don't think she'll complain. She wouldn't complain. There's Not no telling drop. what you, you know what you get for 500 a month? A room in her house. <laughs> that's so funny. Hey, that's cheap for a room hey, in her house. You could be an Airbnb, a crafty Airbnb. Holy cow, that'd be so cool. I would book it out. I say that, listen, y'all. I have tried to go see Melody Lane. How many times? Every time we've gone on a cruise in the last year and a half, we have tried to stop. And every time there's been something that kept us from doing it. Typically, well, the on the um, on the crafty cruise, we didn't have time. We ended up having to hurt the, on the when we left. the crafty cruise, we had to come home because no, no, Amber no. was sick. No, we didn't have time on the way down because oh, we left yeah. late. On the way home, Amber was sick. With the family cruise, we had the baby. And it just was, it just didn't make sense. We had to drive when we could drive and stop when we had to stop. And yep. it just didn't make sense. I'm opening some stuff to show y'all. I want to come. What I we need to do is just to. go and not wait till we're going on a cruise. I'm good with that. Just take a weekend. You'll be crafting. You will be crafting. crafting. Yes. You'll walk around her room and go, I want this paper and I'll this be paper. I'll buzzing and this around paper. on them golf carts. You would be, on, <laughs> you would. You'll take your own going golf cart. Going to cart. Walmart. Look at these guys. We're gonna we're gonna squirt these out. Going I promise. to the golf cart gas station. <laughs> when you need ice cream, golf cart. Come Tono on the golf cart. And you can get in the Tesla and just say ice cream, please, and it'll take you to yeah. it. 
take me to some ice cream. Oh my goodness, I love that. I love it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you these vintage drops. They're super cool. Let me get some paper. Reach into my stash. Here Amanda we go. just said road trip. Let's go. Road trip. We have a road trip coming up this month, and it ain't going south. This month, we're going to Go Pop West, Con. young man. You know what I just did? I took these out of their packages, so I can't tell you which two come together. Yeah, I can. Hold on. Okay, let me lay them the way they come out. All right, Dusty Rose is this one. Bonnie Blue. This is the prettiest blue. I'm going to bring that up close for y'all to see it. Okay, I got it. That's how they go. All right, so this one is called Dusty Rose. I'm going to squirt this one out. And I got to squirt it the way I do, so I'll block it for a second. But and then, these are called the Nouveau Vintage Drops. Vintage Drops. They come in a two-color pack. They're really sweet. And I'm trying to make a pretty good dollop. So Dusty Rose. Gosh, that's gorgeous. What makes them vintage is they have almost that um, milky matte, but still shiny. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm doing these nice on here so we can use it as a sample up front. When you guys come in, you always want to see these guys squirted out. And this is the best way Michelle to do said it. I'd be hunting alligators. If she went to see Mel, we've if seen I plenty of alligators to, down if there. If I went to see Mel. Oh, you would And from be? what I see on TV, anacondas. True. I'm going to get these squirted out, then I'll lift them up. I don't know what this little guy is, but I like it. This little tag is cute. I'd probably keep it on there. And these are available for sale in the store. So you can get those if you're interested. It's like the only thing that came in new this week, isn't it? I mean, besides refills. Well, we got a new color this week. The first two we had before. These are so gorgeous. Our new color combination. Get quiet. Mom Varden said if we come down, we need to stop in Lake City and she'll meet us for lunch. I have family in Lake City. Aunt Hayes and Uncle Judd are in Lake City. Um, no, they're not. They're in Lakeland. Lakeland. My bad. My bad. Um, Lolly B wants to know when will the 2020 Made It Con classes go on sale? Um, when we get back from Chalk Con, which is um, the end of this month, we will be all about Made It Con. That'll be our next big thing. We're still get we're nailing down um, Craft Acropolis. It's it's pretty much done as far as we're concerned. Um, so we'll be on to Made It Con after that. Melissa said those are vintage bathroom tile colors. Really, that makes sense. How interesting is that? I really should start watching some videos. <laughs> you guys, the these are literally stunning. Bobby's hobby says she's in Lakeland. Look at this. Do y'all know what this reminds me of? Anybody ever have that game called Mastermind when you were a kid and you had the dots that you put in the thing and then the person had so many tries to match the same combination you did? You know what I'm talking about? Look how pretty those are. So pretty. I don't know why you would do this, but I'm going to smear it. I'm going to do it out like thin. Eva said, if we go through Valdosta, Georgia to get to Lake City, holler at her. <clears throat> do you do that? Well, I mean, you can get there from there. It's not like Thorsby where you can't get there from here. It wouldn't be the way we would go, but. I don't really uh, know why you would do this, but I'm going to do it. Uh, Nancy, yes, Vinny will be at uh, Chalk Con or whatever that thing is called. I, be, I, I don't, no, I won't be there like all the time. He'll be bringing me and he'll be bringing and picking up me and Amanda. I will be doing taxi service. Yes, yes, they do stay popped up. They are dimensional, but I'm squirting them out flat just to show you the color a little bit more. Connie said, "Do those stay popped up?" Yeah, that's what I was just answering. Sorry, this right here. It's my spirit color. Spirit. I love this color. Now, I just took it out of my house. I had it in my house in a lot. I still have it in my master bathroom. But I just redid it out of there. Uh, 
Yes, that is correct, Mom Varden. We normally would go 10 to 75. 231 or 65 to 231 to 10 to 75. Look at them squirted out. Uh, Debbie said, on your ice cream card today, you used glossy accents. Are these the same things or different? I use crystal glaze, and this is different. Glossy accents is a different product. I use crystal glaze. These are made by Nouveau. I'm really loving Nouveau products. I just am. I think they're good price points. I think they're well made, and I'll show you the difference. We got the spatulas back in. Everybody was asking about those. Um, Kathy Champion asked, would you please repeat the names of those colors? I will. Let me do this to show you guys. Doing the same situation so you can see the difference. I'm going to let that sit there a second. This will also hold your dimension, which I love. Okay, repeating the colors. These two come together. This is a Christmas set, I think. Yeah, well, post box red and Pioneer Green, but you could use these for Christmas. You need to get these before Christmas because I'll probably be using these on cards. I love the way these look. This one is um, Dusty Rose and Bonnie Blue, so pink and blue. And this one, which is stunning, so pretty, is Earl Grey and Bohemian Teal. I love these so much. And I love the bottles. I don't know who designs Tonic, or who is this? This is by Tonic, isn't it? Yes. <coughs> I don't know who designs our packaging, but they rock the package design. Um, and you're always, it seems like we always have that little sparkle at the top. I love these so much. I'll lay them down so you guys can see them. That's Excuse all me. new I had to show you. Let me uh, show you. Band fam thing. wants to know, when will you be giving them a new tour of your newly decorated home, including the deer heads? I believe I'm going to be able to film it this weekend. I think I'm to the point. Father's Day. We, we have before oh, then. We dude, have. I forgot um, something I was supposed to do. We have um, people coming for Father's Day, and well, I say people. We have like all the fathers coming for Father's Day, and I think Saturday, um, after I have everything ready for everybody to get there, I think I'll be able to film it. And I'm kind of excited because I have to tell you something. I love it. It's so funny because all I really did <laughs> was paint and. Um, I guess paint, and then I weeded out all the things in my house that didn't match my new paint color, and then I added a few things here and there, but mostly I did a lot of white chalk paint. I painted a lot of stuff. Um, and I've also, I've had a company contact me that um, wants, to work, <clears throat> wants to work with me on some home decor stuff, not not in anything except like me get some product and review it for you guys and like tell you how the website works and stuff like that. And I'm excited because it's, it actually is weird how it came about. I got an email from them and I would have never normally looked, but it said something about home decor and here I am redoing my house. And so um, I'm going to order some things from them as well, but I'm going to go ahead and show y'all a tour and then I'll come back and show y'all what I get from them because I don't know if y'all remember me telling you, but I was having the hardest time finding tiny succulents at a decent price. Who did I tell that to? Oh, the girls up front. Oh, yeah. I was talking to them about finding... I found some little shelves that I love, and I wanted some little tiny succulents. And I had the hardest time finding, and I mean tiny ones. And I think I found them on this site. I even looked on Amazon and didn't find what I was looking for. But this site has it. And I don't want to say their name yet until I know that I'm supposed to say it. That's why I'm not saying it right now. Not only for that reason. Um, but I, I want to tell you all about them, too, because I think you might find some really cool stuff there. And I think, you'll just have to see, but I'm going to try to film it this weekend. Try to. No, I did not say I love including the deer head. Although, I will mm. say this. I love the comedy factor that is added. I really do because I'm all about that. You guys have to know. Like, if you don't know me, here's the deal. My daughter-in-law will tell you this because we talk about it. She's like, I don't take serious photographs. Like, I don't, I don't need that serious family photo shot of us, you know, all sitting together and smile. I don't want that. I want you to be as silly as possible. I want you to be who you are in that photograph, right? And so um, I love comedy. I love anything that's that's funny or uh, brings levity. And so <laughs> have I told them the story about them being, I don't remember who I've told. Did I tell them about the deer the night they got hung up and what we I walked home we to? Did. did I tell you guys about that? I don't remember. Um. Tell me if I told you about my daughter-in-laws and the deer, because it's very funny. I don't want to repeat it, but we'll see. <laughs> you can't sanitize a fish, Margie. 
<laughs> you cannot. I still want that. We need that on our, that needs to be made at Con shirt for next year. You can't sanitize a fish. It's not only that. Okay, listen, if you don't know this story, my friend Christopher Allen, who is the uh, creator, designer behind, um, and the owner of Brutus Monroe, um, we were at Made at Con last year. And we were sitting at dinner and for some, we were talking about, um, I think Brenda was just going to Morocco or just come back from Morocco or something. And we were talking about having that pedicure done by those fish. Have y'all seen this where you put your feet in the bucket and you have the little, they're like, we, they look like menace they look like, to us. They look like menace. And, um, the little fish come up and they nibble the dead skin off your feet. And we were talking about it and serious as he could while eating, seriously, while eating, Christopher's like, Oh, they don't do that anymore. And I'm like, they don't. He's like, Oh no. He said the health department shut those down. You can't sanitize a fish. And we lost it. Oh, yeah. It had, it was just the timing and the way he said it. And just, he was just matter of fact, you can't sanitize a fish. And the whole rest of the night was ruined. First off, we were exhausted. We did tell the story because they're, they're talking about how much they giggled at waiting for you to come upstairs. Those girls. And that is the story I remember about those deer. I remember standing on that landing and looking up and going, oh my, and hearing them giggle. And that's the best part. That's the best part. And also, the best part is, <laughs> I know I haven't told y'all this story. <laughs> so, oh, do I need to sit back on this one? So, my contractor is my cousin, who is amazing. His name is Chris. He has done above and beyond. Like, I can never tell him enough how, like, every time I walk in my house, I go, he is so good at this. Like, it's so, it's well painted, well done. Anyway, he hung those deer while we were at church. So when Vince came back, he was convinced these deer were not even. He was convinced of it. He kept going, they're not even. They're not even. They're not even. And and I'm pretty much a stickler for things being even and stuff like that. And I'm like, babe, there's though the the part they're mounted on, the wood part they're mounted on is even. You know, it is. And I kept going, but you have a bigger deer and a smaller deer and it's an optical illusion and blah, blah, blah. So he calls Chris and he's like, Chris, you got to come look. They're not even. And Chris said to you, I felt that they weren't even as well. And he's like, I felt that. Did he not? He said, I felt like they weren't even. I have measured. I have put levels on. I have done this and that. So we're at home and I'm in the kitchen. I'm painting something. I promise. Because if it sat still, I painted it. Sam even said, (laughs) Sam came in the kitchen the other night. She went, hmm, painting that too. (laughs) I'm just like, if it sat still, it's painting. So um, they're in the living room going, it's just not. I just don't understand it. I just is. I don't that. And my sweet cousin, God love him. He goes like this. Now, Vince, we can take them down and we can start over. And I'm like, absolutely not. I'm like, you have done all that work. You do not have to take them down. And I said, I'm telling you, it's the way they're mounted. It's an optical illusion. And so Chris is like, I promise you, I don't have a problem in the world taking them down and redoing it. I'm just like, you're not doing that. He said, they're even, but they don't look even. But they don't look even. He said, you, we could move them and make them look even. He said, but they're already even. He said, I even put a level on it to make sure. But he was willing to do that. And I was like, no, 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 no. I said, Vince, you're overthinking this. This is the way they are and it's fine. So then they start looking at the light fixture because you know the light fixture shines the shadow up on the ceiling. Which now I want the shadow there all the time because it's funny. I like the. I notice I flip the light on and you turn it off all the time. I notice that light is off all the time. Anyway, yeah, I don't like it on. um. So then Chris is like, you know, I could make a metal plate and put on top of that. I said, guys, light is gonna find its way to create shadows. You can put something metal over it all you want to, but there's still light. There's still gonna be shadows. It's not gonna matter. Let it be. So I'm the one now saying. Leave them alone. They are fine. And she I think you're coming them. around. She loves them. I don't love them. They they have scared me twice. There's two mornings I have forgotten they were there and I walked out of the room. And the funny thing is, it, they're so large that when you catch them in your peripheral, it feels like a person standing there. Like, even though you're far away from them. Because you're about, I'm about four feet away when I come out of my At bedroom. Least. Maybe five. But I, I've walked out of my room twice and gone like this. <laughs> I was like, oh, those deer. But... We need to name them. There's two male deer. No one t- no one said a name that stuck yet. Um, I felt like one was going to be Delbert, but that didn't happen. I don't know why it didn't happen, but it didn't. Oh, good Lord. Um, also, I think, I think he's going to be adding to that wall because I think Chris has convinced him that the more... <laughs> this is another thing. Listen. <laughs> Chris goes, I'm just listening to the conversation. I'm not talking. I'm just doing my thing in the kitchen. I'm listening to, to Vince and Chris. And Chris goes, 
what else have you got? We can ha- they're looking at the wall. What else you got? We can put up there on that wall. Vince is like, well, I, <laughs> I got these two other deer mounts. They're just the racks. I got these two other rack mounts. We can put up there. I got a turkey. He's like talking to him. And Chris is like, well, let me just tell you something. Now this is Chris talking design. I hope Chris watches this later. This is Chris talking home interiors. He goes like this. He said, well, I'm going to tell you something. The more you have on that wall, the more everybody's eyes are going to work around and not realize these guys are crooked. And from the kitchen, I went, mm, okay, that's enough. <laughs> we, we talked enough. We're not going to busy up the wall to move people's eyes around. <laughs> Miss Jones said we could name them Uncle Buck and the Vin Man. Uncle Buck is cute. I like Uncle Buck. Yep. All name right. them Chris and Vince? No, I need to name them. Andy and Barney. I got it. I have got it. Dude and Vinny? No. Mm. They are Jamal and Delbert, and you know why. <laughs> that is them. Jamal and Delbert. Delbert gets to be the big one. Delbert, well, he has to be, because in real life, Delbert's the big one. Yeah. So, Delbert and Jamal. <laughs> Uncle Buck and my cousin, Vinny. My cousin Willard Chris. And Max. My cousin Chris has the best sense of humor. He really does. He is just the nicest guy. Y'all would love him. You'd want to put him in your pocket and take him home, wouldn't they? Rocky and Bullwin. Vince, wouldn't they want to put him in his, their pocket and take him home? He is that nice of a guy. And we've had two people that have been mentioned when we've been telling the story that they lost their moms in the last couple of weeks. Monica, I'm so sorry. And uh, I think Cheryl Lynn was the other one. But um, in the last two or three weeks, they both lost their mom. So I hate to hear that. So. I hate that. We'll be we'll say a prayer for you at the end of our um, show today too. We're very sorry to hear that. We've had lots of loss in our neighborhood too recently. Um, Chris is so sweet. Chris, this is why we're gonna call him Jamal and Jamal and Delbert. I think I told them about Delbert. Surely you did. Jamal though is because when Chris was having his first grandbaby, I said, <laughs> "This is just how funny he is." I said, "What are they gonna call you, Chris?" And he said, "I think Jamal." <laughs> I'm like what? It's like, yeah, I think I'm going to have him call me Jamal. Well, since then, I've pretty much called him Jamal. But um, Delbert is because we're riding Casey on the road. Casey Jackson said her brother's name is Jamal. That's hilarious. It He really did. I said, you know how people go, so what's Addie going to call you? And so I've asked him, so what's your grandchild going to call you? He goes, I think Jamal. I'm like, where did that even come from? Just going to make something up. So anyway, he's been Jamal since. And Delbert comes from Vince and I were riding down the road the other day, and there was a song on the radio. And because we have serious radio, you can see the names of the people singing the songs. And it was a duet. And I want to say it was Dolly Parton and somebody named Delbert something. And Vince looked at the screen and he goes, aren't you glad my name is not Delbert? And I said, no, I wish your name was Delbert. That would be the best thing in the world. And so that's how it is going to be. Delbert and Jamal, that's their names. I think Mm. I'm going to get them some gold chains made with their initials. Copper, because I'm not doing gold. (laughs) And... uh... Mimi Sweet Tea said she decorates her husband's deer mounts at Christmas time with Santa hats and shotgun shell lights. Mimi Sweet Tea, I bet you make the best tea in the world, and I guarantee you that's how she I got mean, that if that's name. That's her name, surely. You she know makes she's a mean somebody's glass of Mimi. Tea. You know this right now. She's somebody's Mimi, and she makes a killer glass of sweet tea. She, I guarantee you, Mimi makes sweet tea that can be pancake syrup. You know what's kind of I'm talking about. Well, that sounds like my granny's sweet I'm telling tea. you. I'm telling you. I guarantee you. She'll tell us. All right, sports fans. It's 10 minutes after 1 here in Is the that who it is? It's Delbert McClinton. Is that his name? That's it. Is Delbert that who it McClinton, was? Yeah. Hey, that's who you're named after. That's it. Um, That's so funny. I got to know if Mimi is somebody's Mimi. Y'all just wait till Christmas. Y'all just wait. I already got plans. <laughs> All right. I got to go manage a yard sale. You do, sale. but I want to find out if she makes good sweet tea. Gold chains for Jamal and Delbert. <laughs> they got to be copper because I'm doing copper instead of gold now. I've kind of got a mix of both. I kind of got a mix of both. All right. As we get ready. Oh, thanks, Amanda. Craft Acropolis deadline. This is extremely. Amanda's always trying to keep us on track. Bless Would you heart. please do some work? It's what Amanda says. Would you please do some work? Would you work? shut up and work? This is extremely important. Listen to me. If you're interested in Craft Acropolis, well, two things. Number one, next Wednesday, yes, this coming Wednesday, we are having a Q&A live with Brenda and Lisa on my channel here, um, instead of our regularly scheduled Chalk Couture video, because I want you guys to be able to hear to hear all the details about Craft Acropolis and get all your questions answered. But one thing that's real important is 
If you want to come to Craft Acropolis and you would like a t-shirt as part of your ticket price, you pay the $139 for your table. It includes a t-shirt, but it only includes a t-shirt if you get your table before, I'm looking, July 19th. Did I say it right? I think so. July 19th. You got to pay it before then. Um, and no. that, because we have to order the t-shirts for every person. And if you wait after that, let me say this, let me say this. If you wait after July 19th, then you may have to get your t-shirt mailed to you later. And I don't even know that we can do that because they may have and a minimum may order. Extra. Um, and it could cost cause we may have to pay them like a, cause you know, they have a minimum order number. And if you don't have that minimum order, it costs more and blah, blah, blah. So please, please, please make sure that you order, you go ahead and get your ticket for Craft Acropolis by July 19th. Be here next Wednesday for that Q&A. There was something else I wanted to tell y'all. It's not in here. Well, I need to let you know that Mimi is a Mimi, and she does make some good sweet tea. I figured that was it. Um, T-shirt sizes, this is the reason we want you to make sure you buy them ahead of time. You'll purchase your ticket, and then once you purchase a ticket, you get added to a private Facebook group for Craft Acropolis, so you can talk to people that are coming, and um, that's also where Amanda can talk to you guys. And once you get in there, there's a site, there's a, well, you email Amanda your size and that's how she orders your size. So she's keeping a list of what all we need. And she said no all at once. So I'm guessing that means we can't get them if we don't order them when so we order them. don't miss out on your t-shirt, okay? Also, someone said, does Lisa have a YouTube channel? She does. It's called Have Photos Wheel Scrapbook. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention was... The final chipboard mini album, chipboard, easy peasy chipboard purse mini album video goes up this Saturday. I think I'm telling you right. And I did decide to make it as a giveaway. So you guys will be sure to watch that video and there'll be a link to the um, giveaway in the description of that. So I will be giving that purse away. It's June. <laughs> it's Junerosity. Amanda and I yesterday were cleaning out my room, cleaning out my little office space in here, getting ready for the yard sale. And I looked at her and I said, oh, I can give this way and give this way because it's Junerosity. And she looked at me and I went, why did we not call it Junerosity? Why did we call it June is for generosity and not Junerosity? It's perfect. So from now on, we're calling it Junerosity. So since the month is Junerosity, um, I'm going to give away that one. And also, I have filmed, I've already done this, and it'll, it'll go up next Tuesday, The my very first video with the infusible ink from Cricut. They sent me a package, and I used it yesterday. And I'm going to be giving away the project I made in that video as well. So there'll be a giveaway there. And I found another album that I think I'm going to give you guys. One I made last year, which I think we talked about giving away last year, but then I don't know what happened. It ended up not being given away, I think. Anyway, I have an album. It's my very first Brenda album I ever made, and I want to give that one away too. So I'm trying to find a bunch of stuff that I can take what I make and give away to you guys. Okay? So just be listening. Just look in videos, and I'll tell you what's uh, what we're giving away there. Oh, yeah, those would make a good flower cluster. She, cluster. she said the sprinkles would make a good flower cluster. All you got to do is add a stem. Yep. Okay. Let's have prayer together. And um, I'm going to let Vince say prayer for us today. And um, I thought I saw a question, but I didn't. All right. Let's pray together. Um, good morning, God. Thank you for the day, for all of your blessings, for your uh, watch care over us in every situation. God, I come to you today. And I lift up the two young ladies who lost their moms this week or in the last couple of weeks. And, and Lord, mm, I, I don't look forward to the day when the, when my mom goes home to be with you. But, Lord, I know that that happens. And so, God, God I understand that death is a necessity, uh, that we can't get around it. It's something that has to happen. But, Lord, we sure do miss them. And, Lord, I know that they're in a better place, or I hope they're in a better place. And I know, God, that... Uh, that you have peace and you have comfort that you want to give to us, uh, to those that love you, those that serve you. And God, I just pray that you'd be extra special and close to these young ladies uh, that have suffered this loss. God, I know they're not the only ones. There's probably others who've lost loved ones recently. So God, I know that they need a touch. I thank you, God, for your healing. I thank you, Lord. It's so good to see Margie in the comments again, Lord, and having her back with us. And uh, Lord, I just pray you continue to bless her as she continues to heal. Lord, I just thank you for all of our friends, for all these that we've been able to meet through social media. And God, I just pray that uh, you would remind them just how special they are to us and how much they mean to us. Take care of them, guard and protect them, Lord, and bring us back together real soon. 
uh, to have a good time and fellowship together again. We ask it all and give you credit and thanks for it all in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Now, I did not tell you to pray for Gareth. We have been praying mm. for Gareth. I don't want to I do not want you to think we haven't been. We have been praying for Gareth. And today he posted an update after going to the doctor. And from what I could tell, it looks like he's not gonna have to have another surgery right away. Apparently they found a tumor in his neck, but it d- can't be operated and it doesn't need to be operated. They're not as concerned he said about it. Was really it. Small. They're not as concerned about it. Um but he will be going back weekly for um updates on his on his mouth. Um, just remember Gareth in your prayers, <clears throat> just for all those reasons, always remember him and, um, he'll, he'll be doing updates on his Facebook about that too. And if you don't follow him, he's Gareth, Gareth Frewer, F R E W E R. You can go follow him and get his updates that way. Um, and yeah, there's that. We have a, um, a lot of things to be thankful for and a lot of things to be praying for. So just when your prayers, remember all of us at the same time. Thank you guys so much for being here today. It was fun. Hey, and remember, guys, a lot of stuff that's been out of stock is coming back into stock every day. So just uh, keep an eye out for your favorite things. We got a lot of stamp sets in yesterday. Uh, Those new uh, vintage drops are in the store. Uh, Art Glitter Glue is back in stock. Everybody's been asking about that. A lot of things came in. So just if you're missing something, check and see. What's happening? Holy cow. It's not like I could squish it, but look, I'm going to do it sideways so y'all can see it. Look at that. And y'all saw I just did those a second ago. I mean, I think I could squish them. I don't want to squish them. The clear is probably not. It's got a skin over it, but it's not dry. That's how fast they dry. Look at this. Where I smashed it down is completely dry. That's cool. Those are awesome. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being here today. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye now.